from Analyze Asia. I'm Bernard Leung. You are listening to 15 Minutes, a new podcast series where every startup gets 15 minutes of fame. Hello, I'm Justin Rotman, and I'll be co-hosting this beta season of 15 Minutes with Bernard. And we are really excited about the startups we have lined up for you this season. We are here to give startups a megaphone to pitch their companies. In this first season, we have five startups from JFDI, the first and best accelerator in Southeast Asia. In every episode, we give them 15 minutes with the first one and a half minutes where they give an elevator pitch and the rest of the time, we'll ask them questions to guide them and to help them to think about their businesses. Hi everyone, we're here now with Prasoon from First Ride and he's gonna give a quick minute and a half introduction and pitch of his company. Hi, my name is Prasoon and I'm co-founder of First Ride. First Ride is an online car marketplace which helps consumers buy cars online without visiting the dealerships. You have your one and a half minutes now, so go for it. Thank you. We also help uh, dealers increase their margins and manage their test drives. Car is the second highest purchase which most of us do in a lifetime. And with the growing number of middle class families, more and more people are looking to buy cars. But the fact is, the process is very painful and tedious. With First Ride, we are trying to solve that. In India right now, 2.5 million cars are being sold annually and this number is going to jump up to 10 million. More and more families are going to buy and currently how they do it, they go to online websites which have done a great job in giving them an option to buy cars online, to research about cars. But everything after that, they hate doing. They have to click a request a callback button and the moment they do that, they get incoming annoying calls from multiple dealers. And since most of them search for four and five different models, they have to repeat this process every single time. With First Ride, you book a test drive online and we send it to your doorstep with the dealer. You test drive the car on the roads where you live every single day. You are in con- control and you are more comfortable which makes it an enjoyable ride and you're more likely to buy it. We also help consumers determining their budget by giving different options of financing and we also help them giving an option to buy cars online. Wow, you're just on time. So number one question, how do you get your customers? We get our customers from multiple sources. One is our website and apps. We have also created a third party APIs which can be used by any of our competitors and also by bloggers whom people love to flounder around. Mm. So which markets are you going to be targeting? Is it only India? So our first market is India and the main reason behind that it is going to have the highest growth rate and the second one is going to be Indonesia followed by Thailand. Mm. Why these markets? They are all emerging markets. So these all are emerging markets and the current car penetration is less than 2% of the population and the numbers are growing huge and with the growing economy and the growing disposable income, these are the markets where people are looking for buying more and more cars and have similar problems as India. You're from the JFDI, so tell me, what is the one thing that you do that doesn't scale? So the one thing what we do doesn't scale is... That's a tough question, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Because everything scales. Like if I have to scale into a new market, I can do that. If I have to give more and more test drives, I can do that because we don't own anything. There's hardly anything which doesn't scale. Wow. Okay. Let me ask you, Prasoon. So you are, your business kind of has, has two parts, right? You have the dealer interaction where you help save them money through shortening the, the yeah. consumer yeah. and dealer interaction, but also you offer test drives direct to consumer. So which, which aspect of this is is, is more monetizable for you? How, how, how will you make money five, you know, five years down the road? Where will most of your revenues be coming from? So most of the revenues will mostly be coming from the dealers and the manufacturers. But we have to use both of them because they work hand in hand. Dealers are the entry point and showing the benefits to the dealer, we acquire more and more, deal, uh, more, and more customers for the dealers. So they both go hand in hand. Mm. So you're doing it with a two-sided marketplace. So who is the demand and who is the supplier then? So the demand are the consumers here and the suppliers are the dealers and manufacturers. So which one do you have easy access to? We have easy access to dealers because we have already acquired all of them. 
Oh, Whoa. how did you how did you go about doing that? And can you talk talk about talk about? So the, we did a small hack, which is there's an association called FADA, which is the apex body controlling all the dealers in India, and we have similar bodies across the world. So we tied up with them, being the exclusive partner, and we also tied up with a prestigious body called Prashasti Institute which helps in deploying the application wherever we want to. Mm. And since our application is built in a co-creation environment with all the dealers, they are more and more than happy to come on board. Mm. So you do the pitch this to a VC. So what is the one, three things you want them to know about your company? So this is the demand. This is the right time. And this has got the great early traction. We showed about 40% conversions just in six months, which was phenomenal. Nowhere, nowhere meeting the nearest competitor. Mm. So how do you, who, how many people do you have on your team and what makes you think you can pull it off? We have 12 members right now and we have got different kind of people who can exactly do it. I have a startup experience of more than 10 years, worked with one of the most successful startups in India like Redbus and India Mart. My co-founder and CEO Vijay is an auto enthusiast and he has been working for four years for a successful used car market and has a total of six years of industry experience and he has got the right expertise to understand the pain points of dealers and the consumers and give them the best solution for that. Uh, question for you Prasoon, why did you choose the car industry? Do you have a fascination with cars specifically or you just saw multiple pain points in in the car kind of buyer sellers market in India. Why why cars for so, you? Actually there are three reasons. One of the reason is that yeah I am interested in the automotive industry. The second is this is a growing market. Automotive is going to be very big. It is right now seven percent of GDP of India and it is going to be twelve percent of GDP of India by 2020, which is huge. And the third thing is the pain points are huge and this is the right time to solve them. People are ready to spend online and the ticket size online is increasing day by day. Okay, let me ask you this. So something I've been chatting about with friends and kind of people in the automotive industry, this applies more to North America, but uh, with the on-demand economy in the States, people my age, millennials, are not buying cars as much because why, why pay all the, all the expenses that come with buying a car, insurance, gas, ETC, when I only need a car 5-10% of the time. So in North America and developed markets, is there a market for first ride? No, it is not because in North America and other emerging markets, basically there are three emerging markets called Triad, North America, Western Europe and Japan. And all of the three have got high penetration of cars. For them, buying a car is not a socio-economic status. Every damn house has a car, but that's not the same with the markets I'm looking for. For them, buying a car is a prestigious thing. So you are not afraid of Ola cabs in India or Uber in any other parts of the world who's making as People do not want to have a car asset. In fact, I am happy about them because they make people aware about cars. They get, get to know them about the luxury of the car and now people are more ready to buy the cars. Do you have a competitor? We don't have a direct competitor. We have people who have informative websites who might become competitor tomorrow after seeing the success. Mm. So what if the competitors get into your market? So if competitors are trying to get into our market, we would use our expertise to acquire them. Wow, that's a very good big shot. So, so you need funding, don't you presume? Yeah, we do need funding. <laughs> and what, what kind of venture partner or investor are you looking for specifically? So for the seed round, I'm looking for someone who is uh, uh, knowledgeable about different markets. And for the Series A, I look for someone like who is strong enough to fund me at any point of time and the amount I'm looking for. Mm. And then subsequently, what kind of, what will be the next steps for your next three to six months then? For the next three to six months, we are expanding in more cities. Right now we are in three cities and the next city is going to be on live by next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And by next six months, we'll be live in uh, eight cities. Mm. So you have another few minutes. So what do you want to let the, my audience know so that your startup is important that they should look out at? So first ride is important because it is there in the most booming industry. Automotive keywords, according to Google, has got the highest search rates and growing at the rate of 70%, which is, I think, good enough to follow it. Excellent. And Prasoon, for our listeners in uh, you know, markets such as India and Thailand, the ones that you mentioned you're going after, how does first ride really make their buying experience easier? If you could pitch it to them in a 
30 seconds, what would you say to make them your customers next time they go buy a car? You don't have to go anywhere, be it a dealer, be it a financing option, be it a service guy, everything at a click of a button. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to say. And today is a Twitter and Facebook world when people want everything at a click of a button. Millennials today don't order food. They get it delivered at a click of a button. Mm. So here's the last part. Help my audience. How do they find you and plug all you can? <laughs> so you can find First Ride at firstride.in and you can download our app from the Play Store right now only on Android. And you can also look at the Facebook where we do a lot of promotions and also we do a lot of things for the industry like we do road safety events and we do test drive events making people aware about cars and the facilities in the cars. Thank you Prasoon. Uh, we, we appreciate having you on 15 minutes today and we think that our audience will enjoy having heard uh, what the first ride experience is all about. Thank you. Thank you Bernard. Thank you Justin and thanks audience for listening to me. Our show is co-produced by Justin and I signing off 